Tracking the Origins of Rare Earth Elements in Space Title, Tracking the Origins of Rare Earth Elements in Space Introduction Rare Earth Elements, RIS, are a group of 17 chemically similar elements that hold tremendous significance in numerous modern technologies. These elements play a crucial role in the manufacturing of electronic devices, renewable energy systems, and many other high-tech applications. However, their name is somewhat misleading, as they are not actually rare in occurrence. In fact, RIS can be found in varying concentrations across the globe. Nevertheless, Scientists have long been intrigued by the origins of these vital elements and are turning their attention to outer space to unravel the mysteries surrounding their formation. The Formation of Rare Earth Elements To understand the origins of RIS, we must delve into the processes that forge these elements in the depths of space. The prevailing theory suggests that RIS are primarily formed through two main channels, the slow neutron capture process, S process, and the rapid neutron capture process, R process. The S process occurs within the core of aging stars, where successive neutron captures eventually lead to the creation of various RIS. As these stars reach the end of their life cycle, they undergo a supernova explosion, releasing the synthesized RIS into space. On the other hand, the R process occurs during cataclysmic events like supernovae or mergers of neutron stars. These high-energy processes generate extreme conditions that enable rapid neutron captures and subsequent resynthesis. Tracking RIS in Deep Space Astronomers utilize a variety of tools and techniques to track the presence and origins of RIS in space. One such method involves studying the spectral lines emitted by stars. Each chemical element emits a unique set of wavelengths of light, forming a spectral pattern known as a fingerprint. By analyzing the emission spectra of distant stars, astronomers can determine the abundance of RIS and infer their likely origin. Observations have shown that the spectra of certain metal poor stars contain a lower abundance of RIS compared to other elements, such as iron. This indicates that these stars likely originated from an older generation of stars that had not yet synthesized significant amounts of RIS. Studying these metal poor stars provides valuable insights into the early universe and the processes that govern reformation. These observations provide crucial clues about the environment and conditions necessary for resynthesis. Meteors and Impactors Rare Earth elements are not only found in stars and nebulae but also make their way to our planet through meteorites and impactors. By studying these extraterrestrial objects, scientists gain insights into the composition and abundance of recent space. Analysis of meteorites indicates that RIS are highly prevalent in these celestial bodies, contributing to our understanding of their cosmic origins. Furthermore, the study of impact craters on Earth provides evidence of RIS brought by impacting objects. These craters preserve valuable information about the composition and abundance of RIS in the resulting ejecta. By analyzing impact craters, Researchers can refine our knowledge of redistribution in space and even identify potential sources of Earth's rare Earth deposits. Interstellar Medium To further uncover the mysteries behind reformation, scientists have turned their attention to the interstellar medium. This vast expanse of gas and dust between stars is a crucial reservoir of matter that provides the building blocks for future star systems. By studying this medium, researchers aim to understand the distribution and processes that eventually lead to the formation of RIS. Through the use of sophisticated equipment and space probes, scientists have identified RIS in interstellar space. The Herschel Space Observatory, for instance, detected evidence of RIS in the Crab Nebula, a historic supernova remnant. 
These findings, along with data from other interstellar observations, contribute to painting a clearer picture of re-origins. Practical Applications and Future Prospects Understanding the origins of Reese in space not only satisfies our curiosity about the cosmos but also has practical implications here on Earth. With the increasing demand for renewable energy systems, high-tech devices, and electric vehicles, ensuring a sustainable supply of Reese becomes paramount. By tracing the cosmic journey of Reese, scientists can better predict potential sources of these elements and develop methods for sustainable extraction. Furthermore, studying the formation processes may open doors to more efficient methods of synthesizing reefs, reducing our reliance on traditional extraction methods. In the future, upcoming missions, like the NASA-led Psyche mission, seek to explore an asteroid known to be rich in metals, including reefs. Such endeavors aim to shed light on the composition and formation of these elements and pave the way for further understanding and utilization. Tracking the Origins of Rare Earth Elements in Space Introduction Rare Earth Elements, RIS, are a group of 17 chemically similar elements that hold tremendous significance in numerous modern technologies. These elements play a crucial role in the manufacturing of electronic devices, renewable energy systems, and many other high-tech applications. However, their name is somewhat misleading, as they are not actually rare in occurrence. In fact, reefs can be found in varying concentrations across the globe. Nevertheless, scientists have long been intrigued by the origins of these vital elements and are turning their attention to outer space to unravel the mysteries surrounding their formation. The Formation of Rare Earth Elements to understand the origins of Rees, we must delve into the processes that forge these elements in the depths of space. The prevailing theory suggests that Rees are primarily formed through two main channels, the slow neutron capture process, S process, and the rapid neutron capture process, R process. The S process occurs within the core of aging stars, where successive neutron captures eventually lead to the creation of various Rees. As these stars reach the end of their life cycle, they undergo a supernova explosion, releasing the synthesized Reese into space. On the other hand, the R process occurs during cataclysmic events like supernovae or mergers of neutron stars. These high-energy processes generate extreme conditions that enable rapid neutron captures and subsequent resynthesis. Tracking Reese in Deep Space <laughs> 